modern children, this revision material is for need purpose. Okay. So first of all, you should know about the pattern. As you should be going to write for 30 marks for physics 10, chemistry 10, and biology 10. But this time you will get all the questions in objective type. That is, questions will be given to you. And answer four options will be given to you. You have to select the correct option. Okay. First of all, you should put uh, one tabular column. Okay. Put one tabular column. Before that, mention the subject name. If it is physics, mention physics. Put the tabular column. Divide it into three columns. Okay. In the first column, mention serial number. And in the second column, mention option. And in the third column, mention answer. Put number one. If it is option A or B or C or D, mention that option and write the answer. Okay. After completing all the ten question answers, in the same manner you have to follow for chemistry as well as for biology. Right. So presentation is very important. Keep that in your mind. Prepare well. Also, you will be getting a PDF for need. Okay. Nearly 90, 95 questions will be getting all together. Physics, chemistry, and biology. Majority of the questions will be getting from that PDF. So give importance for that PDF. Right, sir. Okay. Okay. Now take page number three. Page number three. Line by line, I'll tell you to mark the answers. Okay. The first one. Anything that occupies space and has weight or color dash. What is the answer for this? The answer is matter. What is meant by matter? Anything which occupies space and has weight or color matter. Okay. Question with the options will be given to you. So some options may confuse you. In that case, you have to learn the question twice. Okay. Think and write. Next question. Who proposed atomic theory? Four scientists' name will be given to you. For example, Mendeley, John Dalton, Lavoisier, Proust. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is John Dalton. John Dalton proposed atomic theory in 1803. Sometimes you will be getting, uh, you will be asked to write the year. That year also you should uh, learn. Okay, so who developed the atomic theory? John Dalton proposed this atomic theory, right? Next one, matter is made up of small indivisible particle called dash. What is that? According to John Dalton theory, matter is made up of small indivisible particle called atom. But after that, now atom is divisible, isn't it? So this, this is during John Dalton's period. But also you have to keep it in your mind. Next one, a uh, dash cannot be uh, created or destroyed during chemical process. What's the answer? The answer is atoms. Atoms cannot be created nor destroyed during chemical reactions. Okay. The next one, law of chemical combination is given, isn't it? Among that law of chemical combination, five laws are given. What are the five laws? Law of conservation of mass, law of constant or definite proportion, Law of multiple proportion, law of reciprocal proportion, followed by gay sex law. And finally, Avogadro's law is also given. So, okay. For each and every law, you should learn the scientist name. For example, if you take who proposed law of conservation of mass, what is the answer? The answer is Lavoisier. Okay. So, definitely you will be getting one question based on this. So, learn all the Scientist name. Okay, and the laws also. Right. Next one. The total mass of the reactants is always equal to the total mass of the products. Who proposed this? Lavoisier. Lavoisier proposed this. Okay. Right. Next, turn to page number 4. In page number 4, law of constant or definite proportion is given, isn't it? Who proposed this law? This law is given by Proust. Underline the word Proust. Proust proposed the law of constant proportion or definite proportion. Both the names you have to learn. Sometimes you will be getting who proposed law of definite proportion only. In that time you should not be confused. Okay. So 
So law of definite proportion as this law of constant proportion both are same. This law was given by Proust. Okay. Next, come to page number five. In page number five, law of multiple proportion. John Dalton, John Dalton proposed law of multiple proportion. Okay. Next, the law of reciprocal proportion is given by Richter. Next, in case of sex law, already the law is given by its name, scientist name. Another law is also the same thing only. Okay. Next, to come to page number page number eight. In page number eight, uh, definitions are given. So, the relative atomic mass as well as atomic mass unit that is AMU is given. So, the read the definitions. One atomic mass unit is equal to one twelfth of mass of one carbon twelfth atom, and one AMU is also known as one dalton, right? So, learn the definition. Next, we come to page number ten. In page number ten, gram atomic mass is given. If the atomic mass of an element is expressed in gram, then it is called gram atomic mass. Okay. Then the uh, molecular mass. Gram molecular mass means what? The molecular mass of an element is expressed in gram. Then it is called gram molecular mass. Okay. Read all the definitions. Next, come to mole concept. One mole is equal to how many particles? One mole is equal to six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three particles. Okay. So next one comes to empirical formula and molecular formula. Molecular formula shows the actual number of atoms present in the molecule of the compound. Whereas empirical formula gives the simple whole number ratio of the elements which is present in the molecule of the compound. Find out the difference between molecular formula and empirical formula. Formula will be given to you. You have to write. Balanced equation means what? 
the reactant as well as product number of atoms which is present in the reactants and products are equal then it is called balanced equation at the same time what is meant by skeletal equation skeletal equation means the number of uh, atoms which is present in the reactant are not equal to the number of atoms which is present in the product okay so learn all the definitions from this you will be getting one question right Uh, next one is the limiting reagent. What is meant by limiting reagent? Limiting reagent is the reactant that is completely consumed during the chemical reaction. Okay, so this is the limiting reagent. Next followed by concentration terms. Okay, concentration terms means what are the three terms? One is molarity, second one is molarity, and third one is the mole fraction. And each concentration term is represented by the letter as a day. For example, if you take molarity, you have to use the capital letter M. Capital letter M mentions the molarity. There is small letter M mentions the molarity. The uh, what a letter X uh, it represents the mole fraction. Okay, so you have to learn the terms also along with the definition. What is meant by molarity? Number of moles of a solute present in thousand ml of the solution. Whereas molarity means number of moles of solute present in thousand grams. That is the difference between molarity and molarity. Okay. Next one, mole fraction is represented by the letter X with the definition. Next one is uh, the image and the problems only. So up to this, you go through everything, children. The first thing, the main thing, what you have to learn is you have to learn the uh, law of chemical combination. Among the five laws to be given, each who proposed that particular law, you have to write uh, that one. You have to learn that one. You should uh, learn the name of the scientist. Okay, and then molecular formula, empirical formula, followed by concentration terms. And also learn about the chemical equation, balanced equation, and skeletal equation. These things also very important. And atomic mass unit. What is meant by relative atomic mass? What is gram atomic mass? What is gram molecular mass? All these things are very important. Okay. So go through the PDF and write and test well. All the best children prepare well and write well. Thank you.